News Storm Team. Welcome back to KX News at 9. I'm meteorologist Amy Meds in Watford City right now still getting clearer and clearer as most of the places are across North Dakota right now. 72 degrees and Bismarck also seeing more of that sky and less rain through the night. 73 degrees, so things are finally starting to take a turn here. Not so much with the winds. We are continuing with a lot of southwest wind about 5 to 15 miles per hour bringing the temperatures above average. So that trend stays the same at the moment. We're looking at a lot of upper level 70s across central North Dakota. Now Harvey getting closer to some of that rain right now, 73 at the moment, and then the lower 70s out west where there has been more rain. But all in all, we're going to be about the same as we head into the overnight hours again, like last night, the nights before, right around 50, or excuse me, 60 degrees for the low. So we'll be a couple degrees cooler out west, and that's the only difference for the next couple days ahead. There's a low pressure further out west that's making it colder, making it a little more rainy near Dickinson to Beach and Williston. But as far as central North Dakota tomorrow, we're going to be close to the 90s and then the mid 80s out west. But what we're looking for for the rainfall, we were seeing that there is going to be maybe about an inch of rain near Williston. Now this particular um, loop that I'm using, the data does work off of radar and we know many of you know that the radar doesn't always cover parts of Williston. So we have had quite a bit of rain around there of those areas that were in green were more than an inch so it's just very scattered you know this last 24 hours we didn't see too many and in the next 24 hours we will see even fewer so this trend ahead is going to be a little bit drier as that low pressure I mentioned the things that make all that rain is heading more north than anything else so we'll get in cash in on all that dry uh, air that's coming in from the south at the moment Harvey still has a little bit of rain heading toward there this could very We'll head into Drake um, soon and probably not make it too much further, though. Uh, it is also really dissipating as we see most of the storms um, getting smaller and smaller over the last few hours in North Dakota. So into Friday night, then even Montana will dry out a little bit on that eastern portion, but again, Every afternoon we still have that chance for the scattered storms. They'll just be much lighter tomorrow, fewer and farther between. Probably less likely for that hail too. We've had a lot of days with hail lately. Today we had some more maybe two, three clusters right around 5, 6 p.m. with that hail is probably not happening on the weekend. Now, we'll be watching for that penny size, if anything. I don't think we'll have any of the severe weather, but there is still just that continued uh, chance for the scattered storms. And you see here then, this is a quarter inch in this light blue. So through the weekend, we're not looking at a lot of rain. It's just going to be, if you don't see any storms on the horizon, it's going to be just probably later in the afternoon that they will start to pop up somewhere and not cover everybody. So we are having very low chances for these chances for rain in the next few days after so many days with rain. Now Dickinson having a beautiful sunset after also having had some storms pass by. You know there was hail heading right toward Dickinson. So just before it got to the city that did uh, get smaller and luckily all moved on now, but still warm days ahead. We're looking at a lot of mid 80s there and then closer to 90 degrees in the central part of the state. So uh, through the next week, even week and a half, it's looking pretty warm. You know, we've got like maybe one cold front coming in that we'll be uh, keeping track of here as we go through the next few days. But all in all, we're just well above average.